Hey everyone, Tio here. Today I'm reviewing this display hub from Mini Sopuru that will let you use your M1 or M2 Mac Mini, MacBook and iMac with four displays. And that includes the display on the MacBook and the iMac. If you don't already know, external display support for M1 and M2 Macs is limited to just two displays, which includes the display on the MacBook and the iMac. So if you want to use those Macs with more than two displays, you will need a hardware solution. So once you have connected all your displays to the Mac, you can use extended desktop mode, and this will allow you to move your windows or your apps across different displays easily. To find out how many displays your Mac can support, I recommend you search Apple's website for documentation because currently, there are too many Apple M processors out there. There is M1, M2, M1 Pro, M1 Max, M1 Ultra, M2, M2 Pro, M2 Max, and probably M2 Ultra. By the way, this is a review sample provided by the company. And the price for this display hub at the time of making this video is US $139. And just to give you the bottom line up front, the design looks good, build quality is solid, and it works well. The limitations are this display hub only supports HDMI video connection, and you will need to install a software in order for this to work. There is no USB-C video support. This is for power input to the display hub, and this is to connect to your Mac. And the resolution is limited to 4K 30Hz, 4K 30Hz and 1080p 60Hz. Even if you connect two low resolution displays to these two hubs, you will still be limited to 4K 30Hz for this and also for this. And this is the Ethernet port. On the other side, we have one USB-C. Transfer speed for this is about 450 megabytes per second. And that's the same with this USB type A port here. That's the power light indicator. And there are two even slower USB type A ports. For connections, since all the ports are labeled, it's very easy to connect the cables to the correct port. Did I mention there is a 1000 megabits per second Ethernet port as well? So this product is primarily a display hub with some USB connectivity. The one port that I use all the time but is missing here is the SD card reader. These are the items included in the box. A 65 watt GAN charger with two flat pins and interchangeable plugs, the display hub, a rather short USB-C to USB-C video cable, a 1.5 meter long USB-C to USB-C power cable, this does not transmit video, and a USB-A thumb drive with Windows, Mac, and Android drivers in it, the instruction manual, and a quick start guide. The most important thing to know from the instruction manual is you need to install the driver before the display hub can work. I have just connected this M1 MacBook Air to three external displays. The size and resolution for this displays are 15 inch 4K UHD, 16 inch 2560 by 1600, and this is 27 inch 2560 by 1440 pixels. These two displays are connected to the 4K port. So this 4K UHD display is currently running at 4K UHD, 30 Hertz. And this 1440p display is running at 1440p, 60 Hertz. If you run a monitor with a resolution lower than 4K, you can get up to 60 Hertz. Now this display is 2560 by 1600 and it's connected to the 1080p port. So this is actually running at 1080p, even though the native resolution for this display is much higher. You may notice this wallpaper is different. I actually set all the wallpaper to look the same, but when I restart, sometimes two or one of the displays will show a different wallpaper. I just don't understand why. Since you can only use HDMI video connection, it means you have to power the displays separately. 
So this desktop display is using the power from the wall power outlet. And these two portable displays are powered by USB. It may be possible to get power from the display hub because this is actually connected to the power source. But the USB-C or USB-A ports may or may not provide enough power to power the portable displays. And that will of course depend on the power requirements for the portable displays. I just plucked out the power cable for the MacBook Air and put it back again. And you can see the wallpaper actually switched back to the one that I set. Now the colors on these four displays look different because I did not color calibrate these four displays. But it is possible to color calibrate the four displays. Right now I have three external displays connected to the MacBook Air and the display hub is connected to the power and the display hub is also connected to the macbook air if you are using a powerful charger such as the one included with the display hub you can actually charge your macbook with the display hub right now i'm using my own 100 watt gan charger with four ports i'm using one other port to power this display and i'm using one port from the display hub to power this display from what I've seen or tested, I was not able to power two portable displays by using two USB ports from the display hub. So this is a pretty straightforward product that lets you extend your desktop to up to three external displays. I did not experience any major glitches except for the wallpaper that may change whenever I restart the Mac. And do note the limitation with 4K 30Hz and also check the power requirements for your external displays before you buy this because this can only work with HDMI video connection. Alright, if you guys are interested to get this display hub, you can check out the link that I have for you in the video description below.